We have a safe and sound pro here under some shielding fabric just to ensure there's no interference with the injected signal. We're going to step through 10 decibel power magnitudes. So we're going to start it off at 10 microwatts per meter squared. We're going to go down 10 dB. And we see 1. We're going to go down 10 more. We see 0.1. Now we're going to go on up. There's 1, 10, 100. One thousand, ten thousand, one hundred thousand, one million. Now that we're at a million, uh, we're going to stop here. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the end points. So we're starting at a million. We're going to look at the end of the response curve. So we can't go up another 10 dB. We're going to go up 3 dB here. We're going to double the power level. So here's a million. We're going to go up 3 dB. And we see 2 million. And now we are in device saturation. Just to so show some additional 3 dB drops, we'll come down 3 dB. There's a million. Down another 3 dB. There's 500,000, down another 3 dB. There's 250,000, down another 3 dB. There's 125,000. Now let's look at the bottom. Okay, we're gonna look at the bottom of the response curve. So we're starting at 10 microwatts per square meter. We're gonna go down 10 dB will take us to 1, then we're going to go down 10 dB, this will take us to 0.1, so now we're at the very bottom of the response curve, we're going to do 3 dB steps now, so 3 dB steps from 0.1, 3 dB down is 0.5, 3 dB down from there is 0.25. Three dB up. Three dB up. And now we'll go three dB up from point one to point two. Point four. Point eight. One point five. One point six. Three point two. 6.4, pretty close, and so on and so forth. Okay, now we are going to do some duty cycle sweeps to look at the average power measurement on the Safe and Sound Pro. So we have our, our pulse generator set to 50% duty cycle. Output is on. Output's wired into our synthesized sweeper here. We have pulse modulation turned on. Here's our pulser input. So come up and take a look. Let me go to full duty cycle. Full duty cycle. 100 microwatts per square meter. So now I'm going to turn on the pulser at 50% duty cycle. And what do we see? We see 50 microwatts per meter squared. Let's go all the way down to 20% duty cycle. There's 20 and we see 20 microwatts per meter squared. Now let's go up to 80% duty cycle. 50, 60, 70, 80% duty cycle, 80 microwatts per meter squared. Let's try some interim steps here. Let's do 70%. 70 microwatts per meter squared. And then let's go down and do, uh, let's go down and do 30% just for kicks. 30% duty cycle, 30 microwatts per meter squared, spot on. Just looking at the configuration of our pulser, we're doing square wave pulses, 10 kilohertz frequency, 5 volt amplitude, 
and there's our duty cycle. We'll do one last one, we'll go back to 50. 50% 50 duty, 2.4 gig signal generator input, 50% duty cycle, 50 microwatts per meter squared. Just a quick review of the test setup. What we have going on here is we have a synthesized sweeper. So this is generating our carrier frequency set to 2.4 gigahertz exactly. We have an adjustable power level. We can change this with the jog dial here. Or we can set power steps. So to do that we go power step. Let me set it to 10 dB. 10 dB. And then I go back to power output. I can use these buttons to go up and down 10 dB at a time. You see 41.9, 51.9, 41, 31. And corresponding on the safe and sound, you see order of magnitude changes here. So you see 39.9. Then you see 390. Then you'll see 3900. So those are 10 dB steps. And that's how we're able to do accurate power stepping and then precise trimming we can do with this knob here. Then we have our pulse generator here. Pulse generator uh, generates a pulse waveform that is basically the modulation for this continuous wave 2.4 gigahertz signal. One last description of the test setup. Turn some lights on here. We have a bare safe and sound board wrapped in Swiss Shield shielding fabric. The RF environment in here is pretty quiet, but we have it shielded here just to get the noise floor a little bit lower. And then we have rigid coax coming out the back of the signal generator. I'm going to I'm going to turn the source way down in power just to show you that we're getting all the way to the noise floor of the safe and sound. So there we go. Getting basically all the way down to the noise floor, 0 0.025 microwatts per meter squared. In a totally quiet RF chamber, uh, that number will go to 0, 0.00. So it's, it's just a fuzz above um, a totally quiet environment.